So while you are creating your missions, you will find that you are browsing and switching between different locations on your hard disk. Um, you switch from the Moose repository towards your mission folder and then um, you go back to the DCS editor and well, just uh, in a nutshell, the switching between the different locations is time consuming and you'll find it quite boring every time to look up where was that file again into your folder structure. So in this video I'm going to explain you how you quickly can create links between folders and condense them at one location so that you can quickly access the different folders from this one central uh, folder. The How To Geek site shows a very nice description how to create symbolic links, sim links on Windows. And it goes through a detailed explanation how you need to do this. I thought of showing you this website. And in this tool, or sorry, in this page there is an application called Link Extension that you can download, install in your PC and then you can automate this process uh, very very user friendly. And I'm going to walk you through the process, how to set it up and how to make the simlinks and where I advise you to create them. So the Link Shell Extension application is located here. Just click on it and then you can download it. They ask you to donate some things. I donate it. I hope you do too. Um, let me download the application. I think it's somewhere here. You need a VS Service Pack 1 VS 2005 Visual Studio 2005.net if you have a 64-bit system, you download it from here. If you have a 32-bit system, you download it from here. I have a 64, so it's from here. So I already did that. And then the link shell extension to be downloaded from here. Just install the applications. And now I'm going to show you how you set up the links. So within your user ID on your hard drive, you got this drop-down box here, right? So you go to your user here, and then you get... Um, saved games so you can go to users my name saved games go there and Windows translates this into Dutch because I'm I'm actually Belgian Flemish yeah so it goes here um, you click on DCS and then the default locations for the missions to be stored in the mission editor is called missions in the saved games directory so you go in there and now you can see here I've created already a couple of links here which uh, direct to Moose folder. So when I click on this Moose missions here, I go immediately to the uh, folder that is actually located here in, in my PC. PC documents GitHub Moose missions. This is the one. And I created a link in the, um, excuse me, let me go back here. Yeah. So I created the link in the missions folder. Of the DCS saved games folder towards that location. Um, the advantage is the following. So within your mission editor of DCS world, when you want to quickly open a new mission of the Moves framework, you want to ensure that you quickly can access it. And you see this list of default locations that the DCS world mission editor provides, but there's no my documents folder in there. Um, so what, I, what, we have, what I'm going to show you is the My Missions directory, which is located in the Save Games folder, DCS Missions. So here, I've created these symbolic links of folders that are pointing to different locations on my hard drive. And now when I double-click the Moose Missions file here, I can quickly go and, you know, for example, open the escorting helicopter mission here, right? Very quickly. Same thing is, when you would like to, you know, open your mission file. So you need a different link then. So what you do is you go and then go to your My Missions folder, right? And then double click here and load the Lua file, right? So by putting different symbolic links at this location, it allows you to quickly 
jump between different locations on your hard drive and get the material very quickly into your mission and refresh it. It will save you a lot of time. I've spent numerous times browsing and jumping between different locations hidden on my hard drive with this technique it goes much 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 faster and I really recommend you set this up as well. Um, so let me show you how this is done. So I deleted the links and I'm going to redo them with you. Um, as I said you download this stuff here you install link ex shell extension it is a small program that will be written on your hard drive and then I want you to go quickly to the Moose Missions repository, which is, um, in my case, I'm using right now the master branch version on the GitHub. So when you download it, the, re the master release version, you will have also this kind of structure somewhere on your hard drive. And I want you to go in here on the top and click that, that, that root directory of the Moose Missions repository. And then right click, and then you find this thing added on the pop-up window. Pick link source. Just click it and then browse to the you know to the my missions or the missions directory on your save games folder here. Okay so name save games DCS missions and now again press right click on your mouse and then drop as junction. That's the thing you need to do only. Done. So this is added. I want to do the same with presentations. So I do this quickly. I go here. I say pick link source. Right. Of course, I have already my saved games in a in a fast access menu item on, on my Explorer. So I go missions and I do drop as junction. Right. Then I go to my DCS World missions, right, where I'm designing my missions. So I go pick link source, and then I go again, save games, DCS missions, and junction. This will save you a lot of time. I suggest you execute this process. It's not difficult. Um, you can easily delete those junctions. They're like files. So you can just delete the junction. When you see the symbol here, a shortcut, just say delete. Doesn't mean everything is deleted because it's still here. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this and see you in the next video. Bye bye.